Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 56, which also happens to be the third and final part of our Transformation of Functions trilogy. So before we crack on with this, let's have a very quick recap. So two videos ago, which was um, autograph video 54, I think, we looked at how we can use autograph and its wonderful constant controller to introduce the concept of functions to students and have a look at what happens as we transform things. So here we had a look at uh, y equals f of x plus a, all uh, with b added on to the end of it. And if we use the constant controller, we can see that as, if I just move that out of the way, as we increase the value of a, the function seems to shift to the left. And as we increase the value of b, the function seems to shift upwards. So have a look back at that video if you want to see how to set that up. Then the following week, which was video 55, I think, uh, we looked at how we can use autograph to set up some lovely looking functions without having to go into the nasty equation. Because this red uh, equation here is some horrendous cubic. It's like something like uh, 0.001x squared and all this kind of rubbish. But we don't have to worry about that with autograph because we, we can use its lovely best fit function to produce that. All of which brings us to the final part of our look at functions, where I'm going to show you how to set up an activity that I like to call follow the point. Now, a little word of warning, it's a bit of a hassle to set up, and it's something you'd probably do at home um, or outside of the classroom and then come in with it ready made, ready to demonstrate it to your students. But I would um, advise you to give it a go because it's a, I found it to be a really useful activity. And it's something that the examiners, particularly in the higher level GCSE, have been whizzing in quite a lot over the recent years. So what we need for this is we need a new 2D graph page. We're going to need to change to advanced mode. Now you can do that on setup when you initially load up autograph, but if you ever want to change mid program, then just hover up here to view, go to preferences, general and switch to advanced level. And there you go. Now I'm going to need a function. Um, so I'm going to hopefully, if my math is right, get a lovely looking quadratic. So I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to go for x squared, just tap x twice. Now let me think, I'm going to go for minus 4x minus 5 and fingers crossed this should be a nice quadratic. Click OK and uh, nothing's going to appear because I haven't told Autograph to plot anything. Go to enter equation and I'll go for y equals f of x. And let's have a look, that's not looking too bad. Well, it's off the screen, which is a bit of a hassle. So let's just sort that out. Let's go to edit axes and let's get our Y values down to something like minus 10, will that be? That's not looking too bad. And let's just thicken that line up. So give that a select and we'll just go to two and a quarter, should be fine. Nice. Now, um, I can do a loads of transformations on that, but what I want to do is focus on where different points go up, and specifically this point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this curve, and I'm going to right click, and just down the bottom here I get this option, solve f dash of x equals zero. Now for those of you familiar with calculus, that is means autograph is going to hunt down the turning point, the stationary point of this graph. So click OK, and there it is down there, that little blue dot. If I just give that a little click, and I go to text box, it's going to tell me the call, well, the solution to that equation, but I don't actually want it as a solution. So if I remove that show detailed object text, I get it now as a coordinate, and I'm just going to remove that equation solver, and I'm just going to call it original, and I'm going to go for a bit of ice blue. Click OK, and there it is. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get myself a, a curve similar to this, a function similar to this, but that's just been transformed slightly. So I'm going to go for y equals f of, let's go for f of x plus a, and I go for my little plus b on the end as well. Click OK. Now that's been transformed slightly, um, but that's exactly where I want it for this setup. So I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm going to click on that curve, right click, and I'm going to go for solve down there. Get that little green dot, give that a click, do my same thing, remove that, and I'm going to put new, something like that there. Bit of ice blue will be fine. There it is. And the advantage of this now, if I just highlight what that um, equal the constant current value of the constants are. What I can do now is I can say to the students, okay, I've got myself a curve uh, function. I'm just going to reset the value of A to zero and reset the value of B to zero. I'm in the classroom. I'm going to say, okay, if I increase the value of B, what's the new coordinates of that point going to be? And we can increase the value of B and Autograph will keep a track of it. Now, how about if I decrease A by one? What's going to happen? And so on. I'm out of time. Bye for now.